Hello everyone, my name is Justin Miller from the React OS community YouTube channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the modern state of Minecraft on React OS. First off, we're going to be using VMware, which allows us to install the graphics drivers and use 3D acceleration to play the game. See, we are revisiting this subject because recently there's been a lot of advancements, and frankly, the speed at which the game runs is now beyond playable. It's actually quite a nice experience. All right, just going to jump into it, I guess. All right, just going to jump in here. Or jump in well. That's fine. <laughs> All right, I think... Cool, actually. What the heck? Neat. Neat. Uh, so, if we're talking about frame rate, um, it's better if I don't do anything, obviously. When you're trying to run around and play through the game, it makes it a little bit worse. But Oh, and, and the other thing is that we don't really have sound. So, we're just kind of winging it without sound yeah. what do you know This isn't going too bad so far. I'm a little nervous because I, uh. Whew, there's a lot of weird things that happen if I. Oh, that. Yeah, like random stutters. <laughs> Again. Should clarify React OS isn't really built for gaming yet. Maybe one in the future, but. It's, uh. Definitely not what it's, like, great at right now. <laughs> Um, VMware is one of those situations where you actually have a display driver that can render properly. So, it's probably the best experience you're going to get in terms of a display driver, but it ends up giving you a pretty usable experience on Minecraft in particular. Um, okay. I guess we can pick, uh... Or path and go for it. Hmm. Nice. Ah, that inventory thing's going to bug me real fast. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, God, and the random stutters. Hey, we haven't crashed yet. I'm going to keep a counter in the right-hand corner or whatever of all the times it's crashed. We've crashed in the span of this. Because what you're going to see is a bunch of edited down clips, right? Well, I'm going through pain. I'm going to go through pain, probably, anyway. So you're going to see the cool stuff while uh, that's going to keep happening. So we're going to have a, a counter in the top right where the, the close sign, that beautiful blue close sign is, right? And it's going to say, uh, Times React OS has died. And so far, it's at zero. If you don't see a counter there, I mean, I guess it didn't die. In which case, good job. But, you know, it probably will have one. I probably should take the beds, huh? That's what the smart people do. Eh. 
in terms of a comparison to my normal experience with this game, other than the random stops, it's pretty pretty close to what it would feel like normally. So those random stops are pretty bad. Hey! Ooh. Curse of Binding. Okay, I won't put that on then. I can, however, get some more wood, I think. Also, got enough here. Ooh, okay. Let's just do that then. Let's go ahead and just head to the nether. I can feel my computer just wondering what's going on because it's only using one core. Just to add on towards the end of this video, I'd like to add that in my testing, I've also discovered that a lot of that stuttering has to do with the fact that it's in a virtual machine. Minecraft has a history of not running in a virtual machine very well, and a lot of the issues I came up with were mostly because of that. I actually broke 200 FPS for the software renderer in React OS the other day on hardware. In general, my point is, is that if you've actually played this on physical hardware or frankly used a better VM setup than I do because I don't use any kind of KVM or accelerator, you have a much better experience. That being said, thank you all for watching and I hope we see you in the community.